Hello guys, here Mr. G with another video for the grade 10 related to chemistry. This is going to be question 3 from the question paper done in the Northern Cape province in 2013. It was set B. Okay, so this time this question um, is going to be about the experiment of heating and cooling curve of water. But before we carry on, subscribe for the channel so you can get all the notifications. The question says the aim of this experiment is to show below or show below is to determine the heating curve of water the experiment is conducted at an atmospheric pressure lower than 101,3 kilopascal the graph represents the result of the experiment and there is a graph and it's a picture of what were they doing identify the phase or physical state of water at a and c respectively so a and C. Now we can use this opportunity to write the state on each of the different parts of the graph. So the substance here at A is going to be in solid state. Solid state, that is the solid. As the temperature increase is going to start now melting. So at B, at B you will have now two states. They will be solid and liquid they will be solid and liquid at B because that is the point when the soft and star melting at C then everything is now liquid so at C everything is going to be liquid liquid state and at D like in a B is going to be two states. So they will be liquid, but there's also going to be a gas. That is the point when the substance starts to evaporate. So this is the different states of this graph. If the graph were going on, if it was going on, so the graph will still look straight up there. Okay, and in this case will be only guess if that was the case but it's not the case now don't confuse this new line i draw we're talking here about the d that was liquid and gas the black one there is only gas so the question say identify the phase of water at a and c is already identified at a is solid that is at a and at c is going to be liquid that is at C. All right, so that was the first question of this question three, okay? Now, name the dependent and independent variable of this experiment. Now, very important to do that. If you go to the graph, you need to remember that the, uh, the variable that is going to be in the x-axis generally is going to be the independent variable. And what is going to be on the y-axis is going to be the dependent variable. So we go back here, the dependent variable, which I'm going to mark now here, the dependent variable is going to be the uh, temperature. And the independent variable there is going to be the time we are using only the graph to answer that question name the specific process for the change in phase that okay at b and d now we already mentioned about that at b what is happening there solid and liquid at this point what is happening there is going to be the melting at that point there that is melting that is at that point B. And at point D, what is happening here is evaporation. Evaporation, you can also say boiling. So that is what is happening there. Those are the change in uh, state, those are the process that are happening at those specific points there so if we go back here at b is happening 
a melting and at the is happening evaporation guys it is written in the graph i'm not going to write it down there okay so please follow so you can watch what i'm what you understand what i'm saying here briefly explain why the temperature does not increase during the change of phases at b and d why is the temperature they keep constant as you can see temperature stayed constant in those two points there guys so what we are going to say is that all the heat needed there um he edit is used to change the phase from ice and um, to water and from water to gas so all the energy was needed to break new uh, intermolecular forces there so all we have to say that it's all the energy added is being used to change the phase in this case what we what, what is happening is that the intermolecular forces are breaking so all the energy there is used in breaking the intermolecular forces and here we are back here we have only one more question which say define sublimation as a change in a physical state so what is sublimation sublimation is a process whereby a solid changes directly into a gas now what i want to mention is that the word directly is very important because during this process it doesn't go into liquid it go from solid straight into gas for example carbon dioxide it is like that the dry carbon dioxide or the solid carbon dioxide is dry ice and carbon dioxide doesn't go into liquid before go to gas it goes straight from dry ice to liquid to um sorry to get to guess guys this is question three it is in terms of a change in faces i hope you understand i hope it helped thumb up subscribe for the channel i'll see you next time with another question mr g here